everybody. Welcome to Johnny Demand Presents. Please excuse the glare from my glasses because they are thick as fuck because I'm blind as hell. But um, <clears throat> I've been really giving up uh, for a couple of different things I'm going to be doing next year that's going to be more to what I want to do uh, with people that I want to speak to and engage with, engage with even down to um, having different topics and stories where maybe there isn't someone involved in it, uh, but just bring, bring, bring some highlights to certain stories I feel like is important that I want to speak about and speak to. And this may this may hit you in a, in a way that you may, may have not thought it may hit you, or you actually may know someone, or maybe you have been a victim of something. And lately, I've been researching about human trafficking and how it's um it's a really big deal in the states here and um there's not a lot of coverage on it you know i have found some things online found some articles i'm actually researching some articles now as i'm making as i'm making this i was compelled to just put something out right now and i'm not going to have all the details now about you know human trafficking but um just to give you guys a heads up on on something that should be like you know the government should really be you know going against and um nonprofits if there is any charities and if you guys know any please let me know I would love to look at to see what I can do to help out and so is my family as well you know I have four daughters and they're different age groups and so this is where the interest comes into me because and of course this is for about you know, sex trafficking, and um, believe it or not, and like, you know, I've known about, you know, human trafficking, sex trafficking, and uh, but it hasn't really been, I guess, top of mind, you know, and of course you hear a couple of stories here and there, and then you go on about your life, and of course, like anything else in life, that goes, this goes for anyone, that when it doesn't affect you, then it doesn't affect you, so you're kind of just unaware of the details or of the topic sometimes and believe it or not i was actually watching rambo <laughs> that's right i've been i was actually watching rambo uh the the latest rambo i think it's rambo uh it's called rambo last blood it was about sex trafficking and it really kind of brought some stuff because the movie was really kind of real and um you know, um, and the person he, he loved was like a daughter to him. And so, um, it was like really, really kind of, um, mind blowing. And, um, my wife and I were watching this Netflix show as well uh, called Unbelievable, which I highly recommend. It's really great. It's about, uh, you know, rape victims, um, and really, really dope. Really great. It's a mini series, so and it's about maybe eight episodes. And about these two detectives, they're female, and they want to find this kind of serial a rapist. And uh, just to see what a woman goes through and the lack of belief that there is out there is kind of just fucking with me. I was like, yo, what the fuck, like. Some of the, a lot of, when I saw a lot of these male detectives that was on the the, the, the series, just treating these women like yo know, like like nothing on it, like there was no leads or no interest in making it go forward. So I didn't like I said I started doing some research and I started pulling up some articles which I'm still doing now. I'm still in the middle of my research about human trafficking and I'm not sure I'm going to do something separate about rape alone, you know, especially with concerns about you know. You know, brown and black women. I believe there was a a woman. I want to say either last month or maybe a month before, to where she almost got kidnapped in the lift. I'm not sure exactly where she was at. Um, and she she got out. Luckily, um, you know, I don't feel like there's a lot of awareness out there about it. You know, we have this fucking stupid war on drugs, but when it comes to human trafficking. You don't hear a peep. You know, you hear about the opioid epidemic because it's affecting, you know, 
white America. But you don't hear a peep about you know, human trafficking. And I'm wondering why is that? Why why isn't it an uproar about it, right? So there's one article here that I'm reading. And this article is from, let's see, who is it from? This article that I found was on sex trafficking crisis among black women. And when there was this dude, he was, so I'm going to read, read the paragraph. It says, that, uh, let's see, uh, so there's this person, he was actually a DJ, a white South Carolina DJ accused of sex trafficking nearly 700 black girls. Just that sentence alone, white South Carolina DJ accused of sex trafficking nearly 700 black girls. That's just one person. One person trafficking nearly 700 black women. And you don't hear about this in the news. This is concerning to me. This is exactly what Johnny Nomad Presents is about. You know, and, um, it's baffling. It's just, I'm like so fucking like, yo, I'm stunned right now. Like I said, I have, I have four daughters. And the last thing I want is one of my daughters to ever be placed in a position to where they are compromised and something like this was to happen. It's real shit. It's real underground, real, real, some real fucked up shit that's going on. And this is, let's see here, this is another sentence from the article. In 2007, the sex trade generated $290 million in Atlanta, which I live in Atlanta. That's not hard to believe when you are able to Google headlines like Atlanta hotel employees help sex traffic to avoid police. Four plaintiffs are alleged in federal lawsuits. Not for sale, 100 plus minors rescued in child sex trafficking op and rapid sex trafficking ignored at Atlanta area hotels. Minors, man. Like, there's something that has to be done, there's something that we could do. It's, again, it's about awareness, right? So, I'm going to be doing a lot more research. I'm going to be doing some more, you know, reading and I may put a little piece together on this. Uh, I'm not sure how in depth or how long it's gonna be. Um, but I'm asking you guys, if you guys know anyone or aware of a cause that I can probably talk to or speak to, hit me up and DM me on my Instagram. I join know I presents. Um, you know, you can also email me, you know, at johnnynomadpc at gmail.com. And I would love to speak to some folks, especially if they're local in Atlanta. Um, hit me up. Uh, let me know. I'd love to speak to you and speak to whoever you may have, you know, suggested. But it's uh, it's something we really need to start talking about. I start, you know, bringing to the surface. This is only going to get worse. And it's, it's going to get bigger and bigger and we choose to ignore this you know sometimes you see or you hear in the news you know yeah college on college campuses some girls are missing they end up in the woods somewhere <clears throat> you know shit is always happening and then there's also stories that you don't get to hear that never make it to the news that families don't have any resources really to even Try to you know chase down leads. They think their loved ones has disappeared. Yeah. So again, guys, like I said, this wasn't for like huge insight into it as of yet. I'm still educating myself on it. You know, um, it's fucking crazy. You know, and. Uh, but we got to do awareness. We got to... Uh, okay, so... 
the person was out of Houston. I'm sorry. The woman that was um, abducted or kidnapped by a Lyft driver was out of Houston. And uh, I'm not sure. If you guys know who she is, have her hit me up. I would love to talk to her and get her side of the story and find out exactly what happened. Um, really get more in-depth about, you know, how she felt and what she does now to, you know, how it's affecting her routine, right? Like, something like that happens to you. It's going to fuck with what you do daily. You're going to be looking over your shoulder a lot differently. You're going to be engaging with people differently. It's going to affect you. You know, so, um, yeah, so that one, dude, like I said, give me some time with this, folks. You know, I'm going to keep you guys updated. As soon as I put something together that's a little more organized with a lot more information, then I'm, I'm going to go ahead and, and, uh, and present something here about this. But it's going to take me some time to really get in depth, to read some, and I have I found some articles, but I have a lot more to read. And, um, I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm giving you the proper information and the best information I can you know, possibly find out there. And, uh, man, this is something that, uh, definitely needs some light in 2020. Like I said, um, we need to look out for our own right now and make sure that, you know, our ladies are safe. Our young girls, young women are safe. It's fucked up. It's just fucked up. Peace out.